What's up everyone, Evil Phantom here, and welcome back to another video. So I know I haven't made a video in at least a month, and I've just been dealing with some personal problems that I really don't feel like getting into. If you really want to know, you can just DM me on Twitter or something like that, and I will fill you in on the details. But besides that, welcome to a new tale from the Borderlands. Now I'm very excited to play this game. Because I played the first one off camera pretty recently. I got the Platinum Trophy. All you had to do was beat the game. It's a very fun game. It was made by Telltale and all that. This game is not. It's made by Gearbox and 2K. So, I'm very excited to show you guys gameplay for this. I will be covering the full game. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. And let's get into this. Here we go. Alright, so... Here is the main menu of the game. I just went through all the settings to make sure all that is correct. And it is. So I'm ready to move from that. I wanted to show you guys one other thing. Which I thought was very cool. Because I have played the PS4 Black. version. But uh. Salvador. You have these little Vault Landers collection. Flack. Salvador. And I got two of them already. Not exactly sure what they do, but I thought I'd point them out. Same with this. You can change the skins of your characters, and these are free. That off. Now let's uh, head back to the main menu and start this game. Hello, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters. Bandits, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malewan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork. The Big Shot CEO with the regrettable mustache is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind, he's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. Oh, that was amazing. You're free now. Go. Go, be free. Run. So if you're wondering, this game takes place right after Run. the third one. Maybe not right after, but somewhat around there. Morning. I am a huge what? Borderlands I mean, fan, so this game is... Good morning. I, I can't wait to play it. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multi-phasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. So a face I'm walk I'm Anu, gun. the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite Siren, 
Lilith. R.I.P. Oh, they Boy. mentioned Lilith. <laughs> no way. Let's go. Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. Anu. So that's better. one of the characters we play Imagine. as. A way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I faced away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? Yes. It will be ready. I mean, it really sort of has to be. <laughs> like, it has to be. It's so important. And also almost time for our quarterly reviews. All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles. I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side. Oh, this is cool. You have to press... Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. The device. Projection and amplification of energy with the iridium dimension transportation of target. Interesting. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? Oh, here we go. Here's some gameplay. Oh, that's nice. This honestly kind of reminds me of, like, the Dark Pictures games. Like... At least the movement. Hiding the key component to your life's work from yourself? <laughs> you are one eccentric scientist. Because it's not a telltale game, so. It's similar to like Until Dawn or the Dark Pictures gameplay, at least. That's what it feels like. Or Life is Strange, it feels like that as well. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabamin translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. I remember the jabbers. They were a uh, um, big part in three. Which I'm actually two trophies off the platinum in the second game. And would a clearer-headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? The code is, uh, on the safe door. Oh, here we go. Oh. I pressed the wrong button. I was confused. Why does this lock always jam? Didn't we put in an IT ticket for this? Have you tried turning it off and on again? What? That's... No, that's impossible. Just try the combination again, I guess. Uh, let's try it again. Uh... There we go. That's a lot of money. Although I do have more than that in like every Borderlands game. Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. 
Did you say lunch? You buying? Now, if it were me, so I'd have smooth. it on my desk. Line of sight at all times. But that's just me. Can we scan her? <laughs> were you seriously about to scan me without my consent? Not cool. I'm... We really need to work on your people skills, boss. If you want to know what's in my pocket, ask. Fong, can you tell me what's in your pocket? It's a Vault Lander figure. Some of the other lab assistants and I like to play before work. I totally creamed Roberts this morning, and this was my sweet reward. Interesting. The iridium ore is probably in the toolbox. That's what I'm gonna guess. My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Before I open the toolbox, I want, wanted to say that I will be playing Modern Warfare, the 2018, I believe it was, 2019, one of the two. Uh, I will be playing that before I play Modern Warfare 2 on my channel, so just a little heads up on that one. Got you. <laughs> Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? It may My be. bad. Find the sweet spots. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who needs I keys? I love that hum. It's Perform like a singing. super science slam. Like a siren song. Interesting. Like a song of the future. A better future with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like, don't oh, you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA Atlas's motto. <sighs> no cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> Timmy. That's funny. Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably fall. You make it sound like we're war profiteers. We do manufacture weapons. For now, Fong. For now. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strong Fork to inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber time. All right, it was me. You caught me. I did it. I let the Jabbers go. Yes, we know. I apologize if my tone was misleadingly chipper instead of appropriately accusatory. Wait, what? <laughs> if it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. I made it very clear that I will not condone experimenting on live animals on this ship. It was in that memo she sent out. It was a mission statement. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, 
Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait. Better not go empty handed? Good luck. Yeah, I'll need it. <laughs> 2K Games presents. The Gearbox software game. Tales from the Borderlands. Octavio. What's up, Octavio? Oh, Nedster! School's out already? Papa Girardi, I can smell your space calzones from here. Ah, thanks. Uh, I, I need a new calzone. name for them. Might also need to stop doing that problematic accent. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I know what a calzone is, but what about a space Ms. calzone? Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Don't say. Jesse, how's it hanging, dude? Uh, you know, Octavio, it's a brand new day filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. A flamethrower prosthetic leg. That is actually pretty cool. Definitely some Borderlands shit. New Echo Eggs, who it is? Octavio. It's really done. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition job. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? I love tacos. They're portable, they're festive. <laughs> of course I'm in. Yeah, I can tell you're giving them some thought. I'll see you there. I mean, tacos are really good. Octavia. God, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Stop. <laughs> looming, Louis. You're always looming in places. I am not looming. I am simply standing. No, this, this, what you're doing right here, this is definitely looming. Notice my body posture. Imposing presence? If you say so. I acquired the publication you requested. This first part is gonna be an introduction to like most of the characters, at least the main characters. Come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept the city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. <laughs> I'm working on it. Why? This list yeah, is merely well. the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Getting on Forge's super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavia Wallace Dar exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which makes it weird. Perhaps you are disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. 
Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. Marcus has You, a, uh, however, magazine. are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, Come if there on, was a on. list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Damn. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got Octavio. Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, <laughs> on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Meet some new people, develop some street cred. This could be good for business. That's the spirit. And let's not forget the aforementioned money. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it. Oh, is this the third character? There's, there is three characters that you play <gasps> as. Son of a skag kissing rat ass! <laughs> Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right, all right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude even though a Malawan space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its Echo Net Yowl rating by 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. Fran, Froyo, Queen, also you. So yeah, that is your the Yowl rating is now negative 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Yeah, let's just not pay attention to the uh, wall missing over there from Malawan. <laughs> Warning, do not think about your malfunctioning TDR appliances, for which you still owe the TDR Corporation 600,000 galactic credits. Think about the fact that these machines are also licensed from Teteor and thus cannot be sold. I am an artiste, sponsor bot. In my hands, even the lousiest tool can be turned into ah! rat piss. <laughs> calm down, woman. Woman, calm down. Do not tell me to. Thanks for checking in, sponsor bot. Congratulations! You are now calm. So Fran has anger issues. Everything is gonna be just fine. The same. 
My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. That looked like a chainsaw knife. <clears throat> We're not open yet. And... Lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? <laughs> Want me to Want shoot, me to shoot them? them? <laughs> it's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. Yeah, go for it. There are precious few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. They teach you that in the military? If by teach, you mean repeatedly scream at me, and if by military you mean mom, then yes. Right. Well, just tell me who to shoot and where to shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outie. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Morning. Welcome to France, Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Oh, here we go, we do. One badass chair. Here you go, sweetheart. Whoa, this looks incredible, friend. I know, babe. Oh. There you go. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if Mox is in this game, or anybody else from any of the other games. Welcome to Mr. Strongborg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. You've got to be kidding me! If one more thing goes wrong, I'm gonna... Honestly, I think this is a pretty good stopping point for the first part. Because I'm not sure what's next. And... We've been introduced to the three main characters you play as, plus some extra characters. And so far we've gotten some gameplay for the game. It's very smooth. I'm enjoying it a lot. The story seems cool. And I like the characters so far. So let me know what you guys think about the game. And like I said, I will be playing Modern Warfare before Modern Warfare 2. And that will be soon. Same with Evil West and Dark Pictures Devil and Me. Or whatever it's called when those come out so look forward to those as well i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and drop a like consider subscribing if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you do not miss when i upload a new video or go live and i'll catch you guys on the next one have a fantastic day peace out